Hello and welcome to Euphoria. This week, the European Parliament gets busy, Jean-Claude Juncker tries to please everyone, and Germany aims to go the distance. The World Cup is down to its last few games in Brazil. And after Wednesday's nail-biter between Argentina and the Netherlands, Germany remains the EU's last hope for a title. Jean-Claude Juncker, or at least a reasonable facsimile on Twitter, recalled the game that put Germany through to the final. 7-1. I haven't seen a defeat that bad since David Cameron fought my appointment. Juncker himself had a full schedule in Brussels this week. The president-designate of the European Commission met with the various political groups in the European Parliament to lay out his future plans. Over two days, he outlined his various political promises, including a red tie and Schultz-themed Lego men for the socialists, and for the Greens, a bicycle for every MEP. MEPs were also busy this week, sorting themselves into the various committees and subcommittees for the new legislative term. Like, for instance, the Committee on Economic and Monetary Affairs, or Problems, as its new Italian chair would say. MEPs from Parliament's newest group, the Eurosceptic Europe of Freedom and Direct Democracy, were completely shut out from any influential positions. Not too surprising, given their attendance records, noted Olga on Twitter. But back to Italy, which just kicked off its six-month presidency of the European Union last week. But it seems as if Latvia, which will take over the post in January, is already eager to get things started. We don't always smile, but when we do, it comes from the heart. Latvians are kind of like coconuts. We may be kind of hard on the outside, but when you crack the shell, you'll find a truly friendly soul. And finally, before we go, the European Commission has reposted a timely reminder to expect the unexpected on your summer travels. For more euphoria, check out our website at uranetplus-connect.eu. That's all for this week. Travel safe.